the ABC News Magazine. 2020, tonight. Tonight on 2020, Chris Paul, 20 points, 20 assists, and in an NBA season full of ridiculous stat lines with the turnovers to match, Chris Paul had no turnovers in a season best offensive performance for the LA Clippers. They beat the New Orleans Pelicans 133 to 105. A season high points for the Clippers, a season high 34 assists for the Clippers, a season high 57.8% from the field for the Clippers. DeAndre Jordan, Jamal Crawford, who led the team with 22 points, and Murray Spates, who had 17 and 12. Those three players all made at least 58% from the field. This game didn't have Anthony Davis. The Pelicans rested him. They play Sunday in Phoenix, and Blake Griffin did not start due to a sore right knee. He's going to be available Monday here at Staples Center against the Portland Trailblazers. Austin Rivers started in Griffin's place at small forward, had 18 points before leaving the game with a head injury. He'll be evaluated for a concussion. But back to the main story, and that is Chris Paul, the first Clipper to get a 20 point, 20 assist game since Norm Nixon did it twice in 1985. And as Chris will tell you, he had the easy job. All he had to do was pass the ball. Here's more Saturday night from Staples Center. Like you said, we had a really good practice yesterday where we just moved the ball. Um, God was focused on going downhill. Like I always say with assists, uh, I have the easy part of passing the ball. Guys got to make the shot. So DJ uh, called a couple for dunks. Uh, Mo hit like threes and so did JJ. I thought it started yesterday, but you know, a lot of times you have a great practice and it doesn't translate right away. You know, it takes time. I thought yesterday was the start of how we play today. Um, and, and CB was great, all of them great. Like they all moved the ball, uh, they got him down the floor. We had some defensive lapses, uh, you know, but our pace was so fast that it probably gave them more attempts, you know. Uh, so it was good. I mean, when you think about it, we had 94 attempts, and really the last six minutes we slowed the game down. That's, uh, that's, that's fast, good basketball. Well, we've seen CB, high uh, assist numbers, but to have no turnovers in a game like that, where we kind of were all over the place, the ball was hopping all over, and um, we shared the ball, for him to have no turnovers, that was, that was pretty huge. We're tired of losing, man, especially with losing at home. Uh, we lost two games since we've been back from the break. I mean, since we've been back from the road trip at home, and we ain't like that feeling. So we knew yesterday, like I said, after practice, we had a good practice, one of the best practices we had all year, and it did carry over tonight. And tonight was nice, you know. Uh, they didn't have Anthony Davis, and we didn't have a play. And, but we just played right, you know. And sometimes even when you play right, it doesn't come right away. Um, today it did, especially the, just the movement and the space, and the ball was flying. I mean, and it was interesting, and I can't wait to see the analytical numbers. I would go so far to say um, everyone, even Chris, with 20 assists, probably had less dribbles. Every single guy on the entire team probably had less dribbles than they had the game before, would be my guess. Uh, and, and that's impressive when you think about the numbers that we have. The turnovers, the turnovers. That's that's the first thing I look at every game. You know what I mean? How many turnovers? I don't got many texts in games because I got a turnover or something like that. But I didn't think it was a turnover. I think like as a point guard, I'm like a quarterback. So turnovers are like interceptions. You, know, you got as much offensive power as we have. Anytime I get a turnover, that took away that opportunity. That blow obviously had a, a delayed effect. Uh, you know, he passed all the tests. I mean, right when he went on the floor, he knew something was wrong. I mean, I heard, you know, I saw him grab his head because of the noise. He knew something was going on. Uh, we got him out quick. So he, he was testing on the bench after that? Yeah. Well, one of those 20 was to you right at the end of the third quarter. It seemed like right after you threw that up, you were already back on the bench. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen the Nick Young gift before. Are you, I mean, in that moment, I mean, do we need to be sure it's going in? Feel good, you know, and especially on that side of the court, my ball kind of like curled that way. Yeah. So I kind of, I didn't know it was good, but I knew it was going to be close. <laughs>